Hi there, I'm Juliana McMillan Wolfite, and I am passionate about helping geospatial professionals and community organizations leverage geospatial data to help push their world forward. I am all about sharing tips and tricks, both to help you build the career that you love uh, within the world of geospatial, as well as just providing simple uh, to tips and tutorials. So today's video is going to be pretty short. So I don't know if you're like me and uh, use QGIS, but um, I do a lot of my work in QGIS because it is a free tool. I also work on a Mac most of the time and I'm not the most Mac competent, but one thing that I found is that when I use my, my Mac uh, and QGIS, that sometimes the attribute table will take over the entire screen. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is um, my attribute table that I'm working on and I just opened it up and it is taking over the, the entire screen. And so, um, you know, I'm having a difficult time getting back to getting back to QGIS. And it, there's actually an incredibly quick and simple fix for this. So what you need to do is go up um, if you're on a Mac um, or on Windows, this works on both. And you need to go to where um, to Q, um, to your to your program settings, not your project settings. And so you want to go to preferences. And that will open up this window and where I want to go down to where it says data sources. Under data sources, I just want to click open and new attribute tables as docked windows. And I want to click, okay. And I have a plugin that it has some issues. So now all this is great. This is now set up. Unfortunately, it doesn't help me in the moment. I need to actually close out of QGIS. So I'm going to do that here quickly. Quit QGIS. I'm going to just save changes to my current project. And now I'm going to go back and open up QGIS. And there are going to be a few errors here because there's an error with my a Python install. And so, yes, I'm aware you should not have all these errors. Um, that's a subject for another video. But we're just going to open this up here. We're loading my plugins. And I'm just going to go back to my project and I'm just going to click here um, want to open up the attribute table and now it is down here at the bottom, which is great I can now pop it out into another window if I want to. But it's no longer taking up the entire screen and I can actually use it, so I hope that that is a trick that is something that you are able to use. I am really thankful to be able to help and serve the geospatial community I do geospatial career coaching to help people map the futures that they love. I host uh, regular uh, events for connection within the geospatial community called Mappy Hours, and also am running uh, something called the 30 day community map project, which is meant to be done during the month of November, but something that you can do at any point in time to be able to map your community. So let me know in the comments below what questions you have. And uh, anyway, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel to see more of this geospatial content that I put out.